Welcome to the University of Cape Coast, UCC, one of the rare seafront universities in the world, located in the ancient and historic town of Cape Coast, noted for its many educational institutions, including Infantipim School, the alma mater of Mr. Kofi Annan, the immediate past UN Secretary General, and tourist attractions including UNESCO-listed World Heritage Sites and Monuments, such as Cape Coast and Elmina Castles, which are about 5 and 10 minutes drive respectively from the university campus, as well as the Kakum National Park, with its famous canopy walkway which is about 40 minutes drive from campus. The University of Cape Coast was established in 1962 as the third public university in Ghana. I'm Professor Joseph Katiampia, Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast. It started as a university college and was placed in a special relationship with the University of Ghana. It was granted full university status in 1971 by an Act of Parliament. The University of Cape Coast Act 1971, Act 390, and subsequently the University of Cape Coast Law 1992, PNDC Law 278. UCC has since expanded in many directions and now embraces such academic disciplines as education including vocational and technical education, arts and humanities, social sciences, law, agriculture, development studies, business, accounting, finance, entrepreneurship, human resource management, medicine, applied and natural sciences. The university is an equal opportunity institution that provides comprehensive liberal and professional programs that challenge learners to be creative, innovative and critical thinkers in a global economy. It boasts of a cadre of competent and qualified staff, both faculty and administrators, that carries out its mandate of teaching, research and extension within an excellent environment in response to the developmental needs of a rapidly changing world. Indeed, we run more than 200 programs in various disciplines. You can think of education, the arts, humanities, social sciences, law, agriculture, medicine, development studies, nursing, natural and applied sciences. At the sub-degree, uh, the bachelor's, uh, the master's, and the doctoral levels. These faculties or schools will, beginning from August 2014, be reorganized into five colleges, namely College of Health and Allied Sciences, College of Humanities and Legal Studies, College of Agriculture and Natural Sciences, College of Education Studies, and College of Distant Education. The university has excellent facilities that enhance teaching, learning and research. There is a modern five-story, 1,200 seating capacity library that serves the whole university community, apart from smaller libraries in the faculties or schools, academic departments and halls of residence. These libraries together hold more than 500,000 volumes of books, journals, periodicals, pamphlets, articles, special publications, microfilms and digitized materials. These exclude various electronic databases the main library subscribes to. The library also has special facilities that support people with special needs like the visually impaired, hearing impaired and the physically challenged. There are a number of housing options for students which include six university halls of residence located on campus and hostels. Some of the hostels are run by the university while others are privately owned. There are also guest houses on campus for visiting staff and students. There are also lots of eating places and restaurants on campus where both local and continental dishes are served. The university hospital provides healthcare to the university community. The various churches and mosques offer opportunity for those who want to worship while on campus. Some of the major banks in Ghana also have branches on campus and all these banks have ATMs located at vantage sites on campus. A sound mind, they say, lives in a sound body. UCC therefore takes sports very seriously. It has, over the years, kept an impressive record in the area of sports competitions. The university has always excelled in competitions involving other universities in Ghana and the West African sub-region. Indeed, the university sports men and women have often represented Ghana in international competitions. UCC takes the growing internationalization of the higher education landscape very seriously and has established the Center for International Education, CIE, to handle this. 
The center is responsible for all matters and programs relating to international education. One of the things we do here as a center for international education is to make sure that when the students come to the University of Cape Coast, they feel at home. We make sure that we get a good accommodation for them. We make sure that we organize orientation for them. In addition, we make sure that they are also able to interact with the local students so that they have the opportunity to learn about the Ghanaian culture. The center runs three main programs. We have the regular students, and these are international students who enroll in our normal degree programs. Our degrees are mainly four-year degree programs, or you may have an international student enrolling in um, MBA or MPhil programs. Then the second group of students, we call them the exchange students. These are mainly students who come from our partner institutions, and they may enroll for a semester or a year and they take courses in their various areas of interest. It is also responsible for the development of memorandum of understanding or partnership agreements with an institution in and outside Ghana and organizes international workshops, seminars and conferences. The CIE serves as a service provider on campus to all international and visiting students, faculty members and staff. For more information, please visit our website.